quick note here of stuff going on in the industry. Adam DraftKings acquired VEASAN uh, about three and a half, four years ago. Uh, the Vegas Asset Information Network was founded by Brent Musburger and his family. Uh, that was looked at as a marketing arm for the company. And then they decided to go a different direction with the DraftKings network. They cut deals with, you know, the Levitard group. They cut deals with the Golix, all the smoke, all the things like that. Not really, not really what it seemed like was sports betting based content, more just general sports entertainment type stuff. And it seems like that was the model they wanted to move with forward press release said kind of as much which was they're going to move forward with the DraftKings network but it's going to be focused more on kind of how their vision is of moving forward with programming and things like that just kind of reading into the lot you know just reading into things Adam seems to me like they're prefer the more general sports approach and thinking that they are going to turn you know the general guy who stumbles on to sports programming xyz that they have bought rights to and turn those guys into sports bettors as to people who are listening to really kind of hardcore sports betting talk. Um, I don't know what the right uh, right approach is one way or another. I'm sure they will find out as uh, the years go by with all of that. But VEASAN sold back to the original owners. So full disclosure, as we get into this story, uh, Matt has been for a number of years a prominent voice uh, on VEASAN. I've done some work for VEASAN in the past as well, so we know a little bit about the history here and, and where this has gone. Um, when this came down that DraftKings was selling VEASAN back to its original owners, I wasn't terribly surprised because of the fact that you look elsewhere with the idea of, we'll put this in air quotes, the media model for making sports betting work. Um, it's not happening right now. And it hasn't happened very well for a number of companies. It, we've seen it tried in a couple of places where you put some branding of a media company and you hope to be able to attach to sports fans and be able to bring them along. And it just hasn't worked out that way. Now, VEASAN's a little bit different because you had a different type of audience, right? You had a more betting-focused audience that was already part of that. But I think part of the deal when you when you look into that, if you're DraftKings as a sports book buying into that, my question to DraftKings would have been this. Who is it that is watching or listening to VEASAN who isn't already aware of your product and who hasn't already considered your product alongside all of the other legal and illegal betting market options? The VEASAN customer is a savvy customer. You have to really want to listen to that product, right? It's yeah. not something that is that is out there doing what a DraftKings network is doing. There is no Pablo Torre finds out on Veasan, right? Yeah. I mean, frankly, I can you know we can both tell you from the inside. If you ever got too far toward that you know entertainment type content on Veasan, in my experience, the powers that be would rein you in and say, "Hey, we need to know who we're talking to here. We need to be focused on the better. We need to be focused on actionable information." And so that, to me, always struck me a little bit strangely in terms of that deal. We know that DraftKings originally paid uh, $70 million to acquire VEASAN. We do not have the terms on the sale back uh, as of yet, but it be interesting to see uh, which way VEASAN decides to go with this because even when it was part of DraftKings, they were taking advertising you know, from some other sports books. DraftKings said it will continue to advertise with VEASAN. Uh, we know that at the time... VEASAN's operations first were out of the South Point, then they were kind of split between South Point and Circa. They've now moved everything down uh, towards Circa. And Matt, I, I've always wondered, with as much investment as Derek Stevens has put into building a studio for VEASAN, wanting to cater to the very savvy and smart sports better, I've always wondered whether or not Derek Stevens would have an interest in owning it at some point. And I, I, that... That becomes even more of a question for me now that Brian Musburger and Bill Eighty are back in charge. Yeah, I have no inside information on on anything with any of it. And, and listen, I had a good time w under the DraftKings umbrella. I thought it was uh, you know a, a pretty good company with everything all said and done. Um, I, I will say this: I always thought that what they used Veasan for, for me personally, like I let's if I took a step back and I was just an advisor as opposed to someone who was actually within the the umbrella 
Visa to me should have been a an action driver, a retention company, a re-up company, not an acquisition company for all the reasons that you mentioned, right? Where it's like, if you're if you're listening to Visa and stuff, if you're listening to me talk for an hour about an NFL, about NFL stuff and everything like that, like you probably got a sports book account or you probably got most sports books accounts already, right? It sh- I thought Visa should have been used for, hey, check out this specific bet. You should go use, you should bet this bet now. Or, hey, you uh, you busted your account, unfortunately, last football season. Here's a re-up bonus. You know, like, here's a redeposit bonus type deal. Here's, a, you know, like, I always thought Visa should have been used for that. You're talking to sports bettors as it is anyway. So give sports bettors who are already betting sports what they want. Like, give them a, a bet to make. Like, here's, a, you know, here's whatever. Here, give them a, a deposit, a, a even a re-up bonus, like, you know, not even like you had to have your account busted. Who, who cares if you got, if you still have $2,000 in your account, here's a, you know, here's a code. To, if you want to put in a hundred dollars more, we'll give you a hundred dollars. It's, you know, things like that. I always thought it was, should have been used more like that, right? A, a, a bet driver, a, a re-up, a retention, a, uh, you know, all kinds of stuff like that as far as that goes. But, you know, again, I don't, but my pay grade stuff that uh, was, was way out of everything for me. So, um, yeah, VEASAN just kind of gets back to it, its roots as, uh, as a, just a, a, a content company about all things sports betting. I imagine, like you mentioned, Adam, there will be relationships with companies that you probably hadn't seen in a while and all that. I can only imagine because I assume that's going to be in the in the vision and the grand plan with everything hey you did get to go to some cool places though didn't you yeah yeah so there's all yeah there's you listen, got to you, was, you you got to see some cool you got cool. to see yeah. some cool uh, yeah. dk properties uh, yeah. over over time yeah. i hey cool i stuff. actually uh, believe it or not uh, i and we're gonna talk about nickel g's in a moment mm-hmm. here uh the back of that trip i was in chicago got to go to wrigley field for the first time and got to see the DraftKings sportsbook uh facility at wrigley field that thing is massive. Like, I was surprised at, uh, you know, I mean, it looks beautiful on the inside, but uh, the, the size of it was really what uh, what got me. I mean, literally built into Wrigley Field. You and I missed each other by mere hours over mere hours. in Chicago. By the way, just uh, as an aside, it'll only take 30 seconds. Shout out to everybody that had to travel over the last week. Uh, and if anyone working behind the counter at the airport's I feel very sorry for you. I know you have nothing. You, there's nothing you can do. I know. And everyone wants to scream at you and be mad at you and all that. I, I feel so bad for all of you out there having to deal with people who can't rationally process that you can't fix a computer. Like, you, it's not your job. You are not an IT person and whatever. So uh, shout out to all those people. Oh, absolutely. And and let me just toot my own horn here for a second. You ready for this? Yeah. Oh, Southwest, you remember when you stranded me in the Vegas airport <laughs> over Christmas a couple of years back? You remember that? I'm sure you do. You remember when your whole system melted down? Well, guess what, baby? I was on Southwest this time, and because they're working off an old Commodore 64, <laughs> none of us got stranded. We there all made go, our buddy. flights. Good yeah. on you, Southwest. There you go. You're just flying on through. <laughs>